Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Aletha and Sue. There they are. How's it going, ladies? Here we are. Ta ta. Ta da. Ta ta. Uh, so we don't have. What happened to our. Um, oh, little jingle? You want me to do it still? Oh, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> do you guys like the jingle? But I was thinking about our lights. We were having a. Is it techno? I, what's the? I don't know. We'll I'm old. Later. Is that what it is, Sue? We'll because I'm later. older. <laughs> well, I don't know. You were in here, right? Is yeah. That? They were blinding me with the lights. Mm -hmm. I don't. I can't do it. But anyway, yeah. so mm -hmm. uh, welcome to the morning show. Good morning. And uh, we're here, and we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Well, Marianne. Good yeah. morning, all of you, ladies. Irene. Um. Oh, Diane, Calvin, sir, I knew there's a reason you're in here supervising. Uh, would you grab the newsletter? I should have. I should have thought ahead. Well, we've had one on the. I know. Counter for a we we for the we table. miss everything. So we're glad you're here. I'm Aletha. I'm Sue. Yes, that's who we still are after all these many weeks. And months yes. And Do years. you know? Calvin asked yesterday. It's been two years, just over two years since we've done this. Oh, Not, it's coming up because yes. it was August. Because that's when it Love was, Notes Love came Notes out. Started. So yes. the first week in August was the first time we did a. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A um, morning so. Yeah, first so. week in August. And do you know? It was very scary. It was. Sue had her little tripod. She's, you know, we talk about this all the time, but Sue brings a bag. She's like Mary Poppins, except Mary Poppins, I think, just has one bag. Yes. You have bags. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And inside those bags are more bags. Yes. And if you need anything, I think it'd be hard pressed that Sue doesn't have it. I'm getting bad about it because I'm not bringing quite so many bags. <laughs> Well, and I do have as long as you have what I need when I yes, need it, which I don't true. know what that will be. Correct. None of us do. <laughs> um, <laughs> as long as that happens, we are golden. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, so Sue brought her little tripod and mm -hmm. we put it on the phone. Neither, well, I was going to say neither of, neither of us, but mostly Aletha is not technological, mm -hmm. whatever. All She's that getting stuff. getting better. Well, I can better. text, and mm -hmm. I use my phone, and I scroll things, but I don't, you know, Sue will send me, I'm just like, I can't find the file. She goes, did you download them? I was like, oh, why, oh, yes, Sue, I did that. <laughs> and um, she can do that now, so it is yeah. a bonus. <laughs> I am, I am growing up, guys. Um, but Sue, and it, we just started out, and we had no idea what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah, it was we scary. We just tried hard, and. But you know what, yeah. Brett? Actually, well, he put us in the in the thing. I know we have graduated, but this is what I tell you: our journey started out, and Brett, Brett, bless his little heart, he let us do whatever we wanted to, mm -hmm. uh, without much any input from him. Right? Mm -hmm. So we just kind of as long as we could do it, and he didn't have to. Yes, he, he was happy, he right? Was happy that so he didn't then, have to be in charge. Brett during COVID, um, as he like as the owner tried to navigate all of this stuff with COVID, uh, which was I'm sure a huge headache working oh. with vendors and doing all those things. He had decided that he was going to film machine instruction videos. So I would like to say we have this big setup because you and me, we'll just think that, <laughs> yeah. okay? We'll, we'll take um, the credit for it. But yeah, <laughs> it, it wasn't for us. <laughs> However, um, it's it's all worked out. Yep. So no longer do we have to stress out about how to put the phone on the tripod. Remember we were using duct tape or yeah. trying to use blue tape to put it on a tripod and we had no idea. I forget why we, ha I forget why we had to do that, but it was something about the camera, it needed to be. We up, didn't have the right out. adapter. And yeah, yeah, but all we this still stuff. were ready to go, and so we figured it out. We we did. We made it work. Day. But I hope you are enjoying our videos so much better um, than you did before. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard several of you um, compliment Calvin's um, thing with all of our paraphernalia back here. 
Um, and so that looks nice. A video the other day popped up with when we had all the inventory. Oh. And that was really fun. But the issue with that is it's not out there. Right. <laughs> um, and people shop while we're on. They do, and they wave, and, you know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. So not only do Sue and I, you know, we're still doing this, and we, Isaac was our, um, I don't know Videographer. Yes. (laughs) Calvin hangs out, too. So now there's two people, because we've gotten so good at this that, I'm just kidding. (laughs) I'm like, not according to Calvin. Oh. We need supervision. (laughs) We need supervision. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, we need supervision. (laughs) Like, you know, watch this camera, do that camera. Yeah. Or we're yeah. not good at that either. No, and we're just Poor us. And we're giving you know, there's things. Sometimes so, you just need a little direction. So, yeah. so, little. so, you guys, because I'm talking about people trying to tell us what to do, <laughs> you know it doesn't work very well. Uh, we have been instructed, which I think is good. It's very uncomfortable. But we need to ask people to like and share our morning so <laughs> so please if you like us like us which I don't you push a button somewhere yeah you just and then you can share us like. um, so I know all of you that like us would would do that um, it's something about like getting more followers and different things I have always viewed this morning so it's like just us mm-hmm. Monteville sewing yeah, and not that well, we but don't want other people, but I forget, because you're all my friends. We and have I people just, watching from all over the country. I know, I know. friends that we And so made. I still feel like it's and that. people. And I really, you know, but it's okay. It's okay for us to like and share, right? So mm-hmm. you guys could do that for us. Um, and I think we'll talk about that maybe a couple times. Isaac's going to put up a thing in case you guys forget. Um but I know you guys all really enjoy us. And mm-hmm. I mean, we, we have grown. We've got Dwani um, down south. I can't remember where she's at. Is she in Corvallis? I don't know. She's a little j- distance away. But she invited her friend Deidre. And Deidre is in North Carolina. Oh. So so you're liking and sharing. Did we get it? Is, uh, it's on YouTube, Donna. Donna Dyer, just like and share. Oh, good. Oh, nice. So thank you, Donna. So I'm really, um, I love to sell things, but I'm not like a hard, and that, so that feels awkward to me, but Calvin told me I should do it, so I'm doing it. See, I can. Because I can follow directions. Um, we But try. it takes me a minute to process and decide. He needs to make me think it's my idea. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, I just don't- <laughs> Just so you know, it's not really my idea. But I, there's nothing wrong with it. So enough said. Like and share us if you like us. If you don't like us, don't. It's okay. Um, but we're glad you're glad. We're glad you're here. Yep. And Sue and I, it's been really fun. I don't know that going through the pandemic and everything else that um, it would have been as easy. No, because this way we it seems with people you know, talking to us while we're... And to um, be connected, right? And to show them new things that we have or new projects that are out or new tools and to share that. And I think they liked it too because they didn't feel uh, totally out of it. Out of it, they right. And how do, we, how do we engage you? How do, and it kept me being like passionate um, about my job and what I do. And I love to share new things. I am not any different than any of you. I always like new stuff. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what's new. Both Sue and I do. Obviously, if you looked at our purchase history, <laughs> we really like new stuff. So really quick, I took it home, Sue. I'm really sorry. Um, I just want to tell you that Lake Us We Go is starting to get um, garment fabric. Mm. Not a lot. But they do have some things. Obviously, we can use quilting weight cottons mm-hmm. to make all kinds of really fun things. We've got a great shirt out here that Jason D. Oh, yeah, he made and he job. put, and it's so so good. You should come look at it. Um, and he's a new sewer. Oh yeah, but he's amazing. He's done so well. But you know who his teacher over there is, Miss Elena. Yeah, Elena. that's not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he has lots of help, and so but he's doing great all on his own. But they have sea wool. And I wish I had looked it up. They tell me that sea wool is made from uh, the plastics, maybe from 
I don't know if it's from the ocean. Somebody can let me know. But I got this. So it's not real wool. And so it's a recycled mm. material. That's made to look. Yes, like and Irina wool. made a pair of pants and a vest. Um, she wore it to uh, at Bernina. It was so beautiful, amazing. Um, but I got fabric to make a shacket, and it's it, they call it red, but it's kind of a rusty orange red. Ooh, right in your and it's um, mm -hmm. really fibrous. I feel like it looks like um, we should put bread on the spot. He's looking in the window. Come um, on in. Yeah. Come on in. So Brett's here. You you want to come talk for a second? I no, you can't. I can't. Okay. I, I have a special guest with me. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. And you, you don't want him on there. He, I like your shirt. I, he's We have our baby lock rep here, and so Brett is representing baby lock. Yeah, he's got his baby, baby lock, lock shirt on mm -hmm. today. So... Um, <laughs> Okay, well, soon we'll have Brett come on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the sea wool is really, really fun. And so they have some flannels and they've got some other things over there. Ooh. So I would really encourage you to take a look at it. But it's beautiful. It's soft. Field it's not itch, itchy. Oh. Oh, yeah. You guys, Sue and I should go on a field trip mm -hmm. and go to the other stores. We could do something like that sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So back to work. We have you haven't sung. I was gonna say we haven't sung. I don't <laughs> sing. Can you sing your song? Okay. Isaac and Calvin. So if you're Ooh. gonna be in here, you're gonna have to warm up. We're gonna have chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I always love that kind of thing. I can't figure out how to make that sound. Oh. <laughs> All right, Isaac is ready. So hit it, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Yay! So good morning. Uh, so Sue and I, uh, somebody had asked you about finishing the tile scenes. Let's like, just dive into that. How do you finish them? Um, what do you use for your batting, backing? How do you hang them? So um, I said, well, I use push pins, which is true to a certain extent. But somebody choked when you told them that. Yes, they did. They thought, oh. <laughs> and I go, no, no, it's, it's okay. And then they said, I should, we should talk about it at Tuesdays at 10. And I said, well. And so I started coming up with all these ideas of what you can do to finish and how you finish. So... Um, Anyway, I made her dizzy <laughs> with all the different ways that you can do them. The only thing I have no knowledge of, because I haven't tried to do it yet, is framing them in a frame. So taking them to Michael's or Joanne's or Craft Warehouse mm -hmm. or whoever. Whoever. I was like, there's another, there's a shop that does it, but I don't know um, the information or how... I mean, because the only thing I have done to frame is a small poem and stuff like that. That was embroidered. That was embroidered. Uh -huh. um, that I did wrong, so I took it to have it framed so they could stretch it nice and take away all those. All the puckers. All the puckers. <laughs> all the, puckers all the uh -huh. um, So I haven't done any of these. I don't know how much they cost, what you want, whether you want glass or no glass or what. Well, uh, Sun resistant glass. I don't know if there's. I think there's such a thing. <laughs> I, I think know. it's probably called UV something. Like yeah, probably. Probably. So, um, but most of the time, like this one is has a. Um, we put foam in it. Um, for the inside part because it keeps it nice. They hang nice. Um, so can we back up for a minute? Sorry. No, yes. that's okay. But we're talking about tile scenes. We know what tile scenes are. Oh, but yeah. just in case people don't know. So well, cause this OESC one, isn't the only one that does tile scenes, but that's no, mostly, mostly what, we, what have. They, we have for that. And um, this one, I think you can, because of the way it's hanging here, um, I did not put foam in this one. But you can see each one of these little sections. So there's, um, there's eight. There's a four, a 32. Yes. 
32 tiles make up this most one, all of yeah, the this one is the This one only smaller. has 24. Okay. Uh, but most of them have the 32. Okay. Um, and again, talking about how to put them together, how to sew them together. Sure. Um, in the directions, you leave the stabilizer in. Um, and I know last week on uh, the OESD site, they had mm -hmm. some uh, discussion about that and how to do that. I have left it in and taken it out because I think it's better. Um, I leave it you in. You think what's better? To leave, leave it, it in. in. Okay, so you've done both. I've done and now both. you've decided And I'm for like, you. no, okay. I am leaving it in. Um, be and I use clips. I don't use pins because... The, I clip the ends and then I clip the sides or the seam. So it that if you clip for me if if I clip top and bottom it doesn't shift. Um, and there's I think Kimberly she uses glue and glues them together. That sounds confusing to me. So, but anyway, but somebody else had take they said take it out of the seam. I tried that. Um, no. I went, I leave it in. Because it, again, it gives you a little bit uh, more to hang on to. With and a stabilizer in there. I also think when you press it flat, it'll stay crisper and flatter with the stabilizer mm -hmm. in there. And also, when you're making the tiles, um, be sure to change your bobbin to a contrasting color. So for the last stitch, the last stitch that goes around, which I won't tell you. Well, I guess I will tell you. When I the very first, uh, this is not mine, but the very first um, tile scene I did was this um, Christmas tree behind there, and I was used to Anita Good and all of those. And so you put your batting down, then you trimmed your batting, then you put the fabric down, the, and OESD didn't have that. So, and then when I stitched all the way through, there it was. And I thought, well, that's weird. So I started doing it. It doesn't, it's not supposed to have batting in there. It's, it has the stabilizer you're supposed to use. Yeah. And all of that. So I did it all wrong my way first time. Because um, you didn't read the words. I did not And you the didn't words. trust the words. Give me five. Okay, <laughs> good. So. I thought I'd done enough quilting that I knew what I was doing. But no. <laughs> No. I'm not the only one, you guys. But it was, and, and it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, um, anyway. So, so um, but the final stitch around the outside, which is your seam, if you put change your bobbin to contrasting, being that your bobbin is white, and you go, this is a time to use up all those bobbins with only a little bit, or you know, do something red, black. Sometimes, yeah, because anyway. you can use that final line for your cut line and then also your stitch line. Your stitch line because mm -hmm. you want to be just a one needle. needle with a inside of that mm -hmm. line. It is much easier to follow if it's bright and sassy. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the the thing about tile scenes for those of you that haven't done it, not all of them are the same, but certainly the snowman and you can see this is morning glory. Mm -hmm. um, these are very, very stitch intensive. And I know that some of those I've had like 45,000 stitches in it. How many stitches? Oh, there are some that are close to 60. Okay. So there's a, there's a lot of stitches in here. And that's why we like to use um, the foam. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the batting isn't, enough. doesn't give it enough oomph mm -hmm. to hang really, really nicely. Um, so pressing, mm -hmm. pressing is a thing. You want steam, you want to do it really, really um, heavy. And um, thank okay. you. Um, no, it is not a quilt as you go. So the question is. The question is, is it like um, quilt as you go? And it's not because you're doing individual blocks and then sewing them together. So it's kind of like you'll have a piece quilt top. Yes and then you quilt it. And the, the extent of the quilting is, oh, this one has here. This has, this one you just stitched in the ditch from yeah. the front. And you didn't do it across. Nope. Um, and I think the snowman's one that I did, and I did stitch um, across with the snowman. This one is um, done both ways. Okay. So that's how we quilted it. 
Yeah. And whether you do um, just, I say just, but whether you do batting or the foam, the foam. you still um, want to stitch in the ditch. I, and I found that, um, I thought the foam might have been, um, I don't know, scary or hard to sew on. It's not. It's mm -mm. super easy. The one thing that you want to make sure when you're quilting these guys and stitching in the ditch that you want to be aware of the wall behind your machine yes. if you have a wall. Because it will feel like you hit a brick wall. it will not go anywhere <laughs> until you slap that button down uh, yeah. and curve it just a bit. You need it either to go down or up. Mm -hmm. um, and so just being aware of that. But So that's the, the quilting part. And then the binding you can and do. And the binding you can do and this is a regular binding yes no maybe so yes that's mine but I don't know um, this one is a regular binding um, Sharon I think this one was hand stitch and then for my old glory over here I did a um, you sewed it to the back I and flipped it oh well but I don't I did a um, back to the front oh. so it's still this I made the back big enough uh -huh. and then folded it over to do it to the front. Okay, more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so that's, and you know, this is a time, this is a wall hanging. Yes. I would certainly, you could sew your binding onto the front and flip it over and stitch in the ditch and I wouldn't worry about that because nobody's going to see the back. Correct. Correct. Um, the other thing, what foam do you use? Um, I, I, we use Annie's. And it's because it's because it's wide and long, and um, you can get more than one out of a, even just a, a uh, yarn. one package. Uh -huh. One package, you can get two wall hangings of foam out of it. Um, if you get the ginormous one, oh foam, um, we use by Annie's. And it just also so you know. Um, Jane was here last week, yeah. and she does a lot of By Annie's projects. She teaches classes with it, and so they're using the bossel. Yes, and it's uh, fusible on, on both, both sides. sides. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be um, a, an option that you certainly could um, choose. And mm -hmm. I don't remember the width of the bolt. Yeah. I don't. Um, I can't remember if it's folded. But anyway, so the Lake Oswego store does sell the Bossel foam by, by the yard. yard. Okay. So um, we can order the packages of Annie's. That's what Sue and I do. I think mostly because we didn't know that the Lake Oswego store had right. the Bossel. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just what we have. But the foam the foam works good. The issue that we had, like Flor Floriani has a foam, Kimberbell has a foam, but some they're of them you couldn't get the width big enough. Yeah, they're only enough. 20 inches. Yeah, and That's so that didn't work for these. For so, these but the Biannis does as well as the mm -hmm. yardage at LO. And then also, um, as far as hanging, you can put, I forget what they're called, those little loopy things. The tabs. You can put the tabs on. Um, I've put three and I've put four on. Um, you can create a sleeve. Create a sleeve. You can. Um, I saw one um, a week or two ago, and this was on the OESD site. And I don't know if you have or or our um, people have seen where you do the corner, the fabric in the corner that will hold. A, a oh, so stick you put the dowel, yeah. and it just goes in the corner. Oh, right. yeah, like triangles. Yes, triangles. Uh -huh. Well, this um, lady, she took a yardstick, a wooden yardstick, and um, she put the things in the corners, and she put the yardstick. Well, she put them on the, she put the corners on the bottom, put the yardstick on the bottom, so it stays nice and straight. And, flat. and then for the one that's the hanger. She put a picture hanging. She screwed it in because it was wood. So she could put it into there, and then that's what she hung it by. Oh. So I thought that was That's a clever cool. idea. Yeah. yeah. No, that's great. So I am, when I've done the tile scenes that I've done, I'm just, um, just want to get it done. <laughs> yeah. And um, they're going to hang in the store, and so mm -hmm. they're going to hang on grid well, so I just use the clips, and I don't think about the finishing. So this goes back to... Creating a quilt label, mm -hmm. 
and think about those things before you finish it all up. Well, the, it would be it would be very good if you're doing these things, especially for gifts of people that you put your name mm -hmm. and the year, sure, at least that much on it because you know. You know the, the other thing that um, and we use them here sometimes um, is the um, rods because you can get a rod a uh -huh. curtain rod uh -huh. that has those clippy things yes so hang, you can uh -huh. um, to hang a, to dra hang a yep, drapey yep, yep. there and then another thing that we use um, in the store is um, these things the section the suction cups so if you have glass wall whatever and then the binder clip the binder clips but I don't know about you but I have multiple colors of binder clips they're not all black oh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and so you, can, you can yeah yeah so anyway. especially if it's something that you change out a lot right yeah. mm -hmm. so you would yeah. this would be easy yep um so anyway just another idea of um, how to hang them and how to put them up. The tile scenes, when I am sewing my blocks together, I don't use clips or um, pins. pins. I just, um, just kind of down and dirty. And But I sew and I'll stop with my needle down and raise it up and make sure that my seams are aligning and just doing that. So. I think using your walking foot, I have a faff, mm -hmm. as does Sue. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't, you haven't sewed one together yet on your machine. No. You used the faff before in the store. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use binder clips, um, but I found that they, they were, they frustrated me. So I could sew, have my needle stop down and my foot come up with that pivot position. Um, and I could kind of watch and do, um, so that worked really well. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to be patient. Yep. And uh, you know, you should anticipate that you're gonna do some reverse um, sewing. <laughs> yes, and then go back to do it just you because it's the nature of the time. thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just be patient. Yeah, so that's, that's what the tile scenes, there's Every year at Christmas time, there's a new one that comes mm -hmm. out from OESD, so I'm really excited. You haven't seen any. We can't. Uh, we don't know. Nope. I've um, heard the Happy Snowman was last year. Mm -hmm. um, that was really and really fun. And I think fun. this one was too. Yes. Was it? Yes. Um, so yeah. they came out with a couple. Um, and Old Glory was last summer. Yeah. And this is just you guys. This is all embroidery and you can just see the depth of colors look at that there's um, like 44 different colors in that what's this flower is it a delphinium you know i'm not somebody will know i don't know it's purple um <laughs> a lilac of some sort I oh think. could be and i know those are daisies yeah but um, <laughs> that I that's know. all i know um, I don't even know what the red ones are, really. But you can the texture and the depth is just beautiful. So it's a they're they're a lot of fun. They are um, time consuming. Mm -hmm. You're uh, not going to get them done in a weekend unless you have ten. Count them, ten ten needles. Yes, <laughs> and so you shouldn't set yourself up to be mm -hmm. um, over a quilt. Yeah, just saying. Once a, one a day. In, and maybe you, might you do get it in more. between other projects, yeah. too, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, okay. Ooh, Debbie says she saw a new cardinal tile scene. That'll Ooh. be fun. I like that. Yes, we don't that get cardinals good. out here like that, so mm -hmm. that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen. I heard that they were having a new one, but I didn't. I haven't heard what it is. Shall we do these? Yeah, let's talk about okay. the, the gnomes. So this is the gnomes. This and um, we showed you some before. We we've showed this, you this one, but um, it's a a sew gnome. So he has scissors and thread and fun stuff. And this is a fabric kit to make that. Mm -hmm. So you get the pattern and the, pattern and the kit. And kit. I'm trying to remember the Wait, name of the cow. She's local, I think that designs all these yeah. gnomes. Okay, so we have the sew gnome. Oh, and you know what? I saw these and I said, what, what? Okay. The kaboom. The kaboom. This is the July one. Uh-huh. 
But then we have a kaboom for New Year's. Oh. So, this one is July. It has a oh, white. the colors. And, and then, then the colors, the colors are, different. are different. She put the Starlight Metallics in here. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm loving it. Okay, yeah. so this is so the 4th of July. And it says it on the package because yes. I'm like, how do you know? There's a New Year's one and a 4th of July one. <laughs> so I thought the New Year's, then I went kaboom. Mm, confused. Okay. But no. Way to read the words. Was, well, I had to ask. My, Maggie had to tell me. She's like, shh. Anyway, I admit, I admit. So then I went, okay, now I'm looking for for holidays. For, uh-huh. Um, okay. So here's Halloween. All so there's right. a boo one. That's cute. And then we have a fall or Thanksgiving one. We have Noel. I like that. And we have snow. In case you don't do holidays, but you want to have a... Yeah, for mm-hmm. the, the season. I would say January, but... <laughs> or April, I'm yeah, just Oh, saying. yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so these, the Portland store uh, has these, but the Lake Oswego store also has them. Yes, in fact, that's where we get them from. And yes, these are Sam Hunter... Des- well, it says Hunter Design Studio. Okay. Up here, so there was a question. These are. Um, oh, it was a YouTube preview. Oh, I just got that one yesterday. So you'll I'll have, have to, to do watch that. it. These are available at Portland and Lake Oswego. I think the other stores might have them too, but you should call to see if you see one that you'd like. We can have it sent there. But you guys, this leads us into oh. our coupons. Through um, the end of July, Fabric is 20% off, and these will come up at the 20% off. So it's a good time to stock up on some of them. Um, they are not um, super big. They're 7 by 36, so they're really nice, long, mm-hmm. lean things that you can um, put in your, just, you can, fi- everybody can find a spot. Sure. A door hanger would be great. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. If my grandma was um, still around I would have done one for her door um, at Better. her assisted mm-hmm. living place yeah so there's all kinds of things that you can do um, with that so really quick just to go over um, all the coupons real quick remember Kimber Bell's 25% off through the end of July that does not include Kimber Bell fabric but the fabric kits would fall under the 20% off so you'll that's a better discount um, off of branded presser feet, cutting mats, rulers, stabilizer, and batting. And I just wanted, Sue has over there um, the uh, stabilizer, the refill sheets for your sticky hoops. This is a great time to stock up on these guys. Um, There's both wash away and tear away. The wash away we discovered last week only comes up to an 8 8 by by 12. 12. So as of now, they don't have bigger sheets with the sticky wash wash away. away. But we do have it in all the sizes um, of the tear away. away. Mm -hmm. So um, these fit the dime sticky hoops, which we also have in stock. Baby Lock has a really nice lineup. There's, I didn't count them. Is there nine? Maybe we tried to Mm -hmm. count. I think there's maybe nine different sizes um, in the Baby Lock. The FAF has four and we the faf and viking they use the same hoops um and the bernina we have the dime sticky hoop in the smaller uh size it's 145 by 240 or something close to that so it's your six by ten uh so anyway that's a good time to get those um closet bobbins are 40 percent uh, not bobbins needles mm-hmm. <laughs> um are 40% off, and then bobbins are half off. So remember, you can order a box of pre-wound bobbins, um, and that will also qualify for the half off. Great time to stock up on those guys. Um, So those are coupons, like I said, remember, end of the month. Mm -hmm. Isocord and embellished thread. Sue brought some in last (coughs) week and we talked about that, but that's 30% off, and so Mm -hmm. those are some great, great values. so we talked about fabric really quick. We did get in the cup of cheer. I have fat quarters, 
the five inch squares and the 10 inch squares. So this is fun to have for applique for your different Christmas, um, Christmas things. So remember that the Kimberbell Cup of Cheer fabrics will go out of print at mm -hmm. some point. You know, you've we've all seen somebody looking on the um, the sites help for. Me, help me! I need Broom Hilda's fabric kit, and so <laughs> I just feel really smug now that I have <laughs> some of the uh, other fabrics. Just that I have it. I don't know if I'm ever going to need it, but I mean, use it. Which I don't. Nobody ever said we have to use what we buy. No, it no. isn't a because we're collectors. You know, so um, keep that in mind. Yes, Sandy, they are only in black and white, no color ones. Correct. Specific, yeah. But you can get the Quilter Select mm -hmm. Pear Cotton Poly uh, in the 80 weight bobbins, and there's 10 in a pack. Those would be half off, too. But those are nice to have for um, colors. colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, oh, she's hot and PA. Pen is that Pennsylvania? I think it's Philadelphia. Philadelphia. We can't remember. Well, yeah, we're geography's terrible. not my thing. I, I, I don't ever travel. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Where, Where are you going, going next? Join week? us two weeks. <laughs> oh well, no. I do get to go. My family. We're gonna go to Idaho. Who knew? Um, you found a lake? No, we're going to Silverwood. What's that? It's like a water theme park. Oh well, okay. So, That's cool. but I have my adult children, lake. and uh, a couple of them are going, and it'll just be fun just to yep. uh, do nothing. But then I come back, and then I go to Tennessee, mm -hmm. so I'm excited. I'm gonna yep. go check out uh, Isaac's uh, new digs. New digs. <laughs> um, so scissor tail stitches is part of the OESC family. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just happened to walk through um, the front and to see what's new. Sue, Sue's kind of taken over ordering the OESD stuff. Uh, well, you, you didn't mm -hmm. know that, but you no. are. Mm -hmm. um, so now with the new designs, you can just let Tressa know directly. Yeah. Think, okay, thanks. <laughs> That's one less thing I have to do. <laughs> Sue stitches out the designs for us all the time, and she does a fabulous job. So, But I thought that this was amazing. I like punny things um, and it's pretty funny yeah and so this is punny Christmas and it says your slang I love that um, and then drop it like it's hot cocoa and I'm um, smitten with you what is this other one I th I don't know it says Merry Christmas but it must say something else in there I don't know um, and it says there's another. It's Maui Christmas. Oh Maui! Maui oh, Christmas. from for cats. Okay. For cats. And then there's a howling. How? Yep. Yeah, happy howling holidays. Days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then there's all the jingle ladies. I thought that was pretty funny. You know, would that be fun to make for like your quilt group? Uh -huh. Make them um, a tea towel or yeah. um, put it on a bag. We always need more bags. Be your best elf. Yes. <laughs> And then, um, I love you from my head to my mistletoes. Yeah, be your best elf. That's really cute. That would be fun. Um, and I'm pining for you. I know these are tiny. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and then the last one says, there's no place like home for the holidays. So there's real, they're really, really cute. And there's 10 little designs. Um, and the largest is um, six by five. six by five. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So for all of you that have um, little smaller machines, I love that they cater to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that we all have a chance to to sew them out. So uh, we've got these guys in stock, um, and then the Hello Summer. We talked about we have a lot of Christmas stuff, right? And you guys, it will be here before you know it. But I've been um, freezing. Yes. For yeah. days. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So I thought we should talk about summer because it's still here. So we have um, Sue stitch these out. And this is what it means. You get the designs. She stitches these out. I think it's important for us to see. These look like watercolors. Mm -hmm. And they've been, is Isaac's going to zoom in on them for us? Because I think you have to see them. So many people have asked me, um, well, what thread did she use? What? How did you get that look? And it's all in the digitizing. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, I did use the colors that they had, but 
It's what they did to it. Yeah, and yeah. so I love it because this is how I color mm -hmm. outside the lines, yep. and that's how it's supposed to be. So I don't have to nitpick it apart because uh, it was designed that way. So this is, um, how many designs are on here, Sue? There's four, there's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It looks like there's 14 designs. It probably says that and really, oh yeah, right here if you read. <laughs> it was a test. Um, I, oh, or you could read the, the really big, big words. <laughs> The big ones there. So there's 14 different designs on there, and there's they're just really fun. There's the watermelon. Um, there's the bicycle. Um, these popsicles. I never had those. I shouldn't say never. You never had this kind of popsicle. They're not. If it's not chocolate, what's the point? I'm just saying, right? <laughs> oh, and you know they don't have a fudgesicle on here. Right? What the heck? Wow. Um, so there is this summer there with the s'mores. What is it? What does it say, you guys? Give me s'more summer. I love it. <laughs> and then this one is really cute. Summer is short. Enjoy the ride. Isn't that the truth? I've talked to you about this before, but this whole lazy days of summer and that summer drags on. When I was a child, I was the only kid, right? So not being in school and not having friends right. around, mm -hmm. um, it got boring. Sure, sure. Um, and so I always thought summer was so long. I was so glad to go back to school. Even so my when, boys got tired. Of did it. they? Mm -hmm. So when I homeschooled uh, and we had summer, I was like, okay, summer's going to be long. I'm going to be <laughs> bored. It's going to be just relaxing. Not so. <laughs> and you know what? It's never had that again. Mm. So it's we're always busy, right? No matter yeah. the season. True. Don't you always have something to do? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. It just so. seems like it's... And time goes... I it does. Don't have so time. It goes so fast. It's good to be present and enjoy mm -hmm. the moment. So, and the last thing I just wanted to tell you guys, I was talking to a gal yesterday and she was having some health issues and not able to, had no energy to, mm. to do anything. Um, a lot of demands in life, right? The mm -hmm. People, I was going to say sucking the life out of us. <laughs> yeah. um, that, that we go through seasons, whether it's caring for um, a sick family member mm -hmm. or an aging parent, um, maybe you're worried about your kids, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? All of those things. But sewing, I didn't know too much about that until the pandemic hit. Mm. And taking the time for you to have just a few minutes to yourself and being in your sewing room, being creative. It could be collecting, right? Sure. It could be shopping and being inspired for new things. Mm -hmm. um, but also just being able to sit at your machine um, this is what I love about quilting and embroidery. You can do it with garment sewing too, but it's not maybe as instant gratification, right? Right. With right. embroidery, you can sit down and if you stitch out a few colors, you've made um, uh, progress right. on mm -hmm. something. Any of these designs, you could flip it on a towel and you could have something. And it, hopefully that that quiet time or that time that you're taking just for yourself will feed your soul and just um, refill your cup so that you can um, do all those other things. Do all those other things. So you feel recharged and ready to go again. And so I have found that true for myself. And I know both of us are like, okay, how long has it been since you've been in your sewing right. room? <laughs> you need to have a few minutes just to sit down and you take what you can, right? Yeah, Life whether it still be goes 10 on. minutes or two or hours. Or yeah. yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes but you finding, just need to make that time. Making that time for yourself. And I think it sometimes we helps. forget to do that. So mm -hmm. I I just think it's uh, good, yep. good to do that. So I just want to encourage you all um, to find a little bit of time. And maybe it's gardening. Maybe maybe it's something outside Ooh, versus... Your hands in the dirt. I'm not one of those people, but... Some people. I it have is three hanging bit. baskets uh -huh. and two pots. Yeah, I don't water those. That's could that. That's probably why they look like that. Um, but 
getting Ooh. outside to do that. Mm-hmm. I love the idea of it. I told you. We got my garden all ready and all of that. And I looked at Guy and I said, let's just put cardboard over it. I'm not going to plant a garden this year. Mm-hmm. I just don't have the... I, so watering those three hanging baskets is a challenge to me. So gardening's not my thing. I love the idea of it. I love the beauty. I love the color. Well, I love that my hubby loves to do that. Because I'm going to give him my address. My, my, <laughs> my yard is beautiful. It is. Um, it and is. He, but it's, it's his sewing room. Yes. It's his balance. So his, you love this time of year. Yeah. When he can get outside. And yeah, do because things. otherwise he just sits and watches old westerns or something and he maybe he watches youtube about how to do the gardening when the gardening this comes. is true because yeah mm-hmm, that yeah he so he's all, preparing he's mm-hmm. doing all the the yeah. um, i know he does research. check out new trees or like fruit trees and uh-huh. different things like that and or if he's having a problem with something not growing like he he'll do his research and he'll that. Do that so there's yeah. always something to learn and do right well and learning is good for you it does. It and keeps us sharp. Yeah, it's it just keeps everybody. Um, Pat wants to know if she needs to come in today. Pat, you your machine's not ready yet, so give yeah. um, Blaine a call. Um, what? Something else when you were talking. Oh, you know what else I do? I go sit outside for like half an hour. Just sit in the sun. Just sit in the sun, and I do it when it's still like not hot. Uh huh. But just, I've enjoyed sitting on my patio too. We got a gas. We have a, re- a real fire pit, but I, we have a gas thing on mm-hmm. our deck now. And so in the mornings, I'm like, oh, I feel like such a grown up. I'll have my coffee, and oh, go out there and cool. sit there. Yeah, um, and it's nice. nice just to have that quiet time. Um, Erin yesterday was having her limoncello I don't know if I'm saying it right oh, the uh-huh. LaCroix, which I did have Sue test it and mm-hmm. she thought it was better than a lot of them but it's yes. still you it's wouldn't still, drink it mm-hmm. okay no but I did like the carbonation of that yeah unlike some so but. sometimes just having a drink like that sure. in the afternoon mm-hmm. and do that um, I like to sit outside in the evening too mm-hmm. I did that last week because you know I have a new air conditioner heat pump yeah the do thermostat's you know? not working <laughs> So it's cooler outside. It's always it something. That's so sad. <laughs> so, um, but my backyard is very shaded in the afternoon and the evening. So I have a beautiful backyard. I can go, so out go out there and, and be that. cooler than inside my house. But okay, you know what? Next week, Anybody I else? won't be here. Oh, that's true. So Miss I'm, Chris is going to come yes, with me. Yes, my, my 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 um, very reluctant mother mm-hmm. will be our reluctant guest. Yes, because she doesn't think she knows enough about needles and threads. Oh my gosh, she is like. Oh the, my gosh, I said yes. You are. You are. You are. So um, yeah, she's gonna. So come she in. will be here, and we're gonna talk about needles and threads. And yes. who doesn't? There's always something. So, your mission is to make a list of questions. Mm-hmm. And then we want you to ask those on there. And when we've got her um, on camera, she's forced Undivided to not be able attention. to go anywhere. Yes. Yep. We, she's we, hostage. Yes. Uh, we can ask mm-hmm. all those good questions. Yeah. So she ha- it's right off the top of her head. I know. So yes. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, even though she is reluctant. What about the following week? The following week, I'm going to be gone too. Okay. Shoot. That's okay. We'll fig- We'll have somebody come visit. Okay. Okay. I usually try to schedule my vacations around the morning, so we're very committed. But you know what? It's it's okay. Yep. I'll have my turn in August if I can drag the hubs somewhere. Okay. But. All right. Sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. So we will see you guys all. I will see you in about, it's going to be like three weeks. I'm not taking a three-week vacation, Isaac. <laughs> um <laughs> He was telling me I was gone for two weeks. That was so long, but he took a whole month. Um, and it's not really a vacation. So, oh, so you should join us when I get back because I'm going to Ooh. Brother Convention. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm going to Tennessee. So hopefully I come back with a lot of really fun, good information. Yep. So um, we Ooh, will we see you wait. all. Oh, really what? quick, too, because we didn't talk about it. I'm going to talk about this every week. Um 
our annual tech party. Sign up for tech party if you want to do that. The dates are um, September through the 10th, 7th through the 10th. Find what store and what time, what session works best for you and sign up. We are getting quite a bit of signups, um, so I want you to make sure you get a spot. It's free. Then also in September, um, the 21st through the 24th, it's going to be at all of our stores. We're doing Battle of the Brands. That'll be a lot of fun, so sign up for that. And then keep an eye out for the Bernina Serger event. Bernina Serger is a pretty amazing machine. Um, we're going to do that in the event center. We're doing two two-day classes, mm -hmm. and... Um, so you can just save the date for October 5th and 6th or the 7th and 8th. Uh, there's not any more information as of yet, but keep an eye on the website. So, okay, that's what I had to say. Cool. We almost forgot. Whew, we almost forgot that part. Okay. So, we'll see you later. Have a good week. Um, don't get too hot. It's supposed to warm up. But um, enjoy anyway. That's right. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun with Lee and Sue. I know I always do. Um, yeah, and in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye. Bye. Aletha and Sue, Aletha and Sue, the morning's so is Aletha and Sue.